guys um well welcome to this new channel that i've just set up you can click the subscribe button maybe we'll grow this together well listen there is uh, there are news that are just trending on the media and uh, the white monopoly media by the way and on on, on twitter about um Nkarisa Mokosi and Tebo Mokweli. Well, you you know they are EFF people. So this is regarding Mr. Ramaphosa, who at first, to be honest, I thought this is our president. This is the guy to go to after what Zuma did. We we need someone like this. You know what I mean? But then, God damn, we 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 got someone different. Uh, let me just butter my mouth, you know what I mean? We got someone different. Like, really. Ramaphosa, you have the opportunity to do something great. Just to to have, to have give uh, this country your confidence. But then it appears, hey, the brother is a baller. He gave this uh, two EFF uh, MPs 80,000 each. And Debo Mugwili said... Uh, she needed money for bereavement. But uh, on the record it says she got money in 2017, 40000 and then the other one, I think 2019. So it doesn't make sense. There are stories about it saying that this and this happened. And no one really knows what's going on until uh, uh, suddenly the, the, the two EFF MPs wrote the letter, which... By the way, the letter looks exactly the same. They were written by one person who wrote uh, those letters on behalf of them. My guess would be that someone in the EFF, maybe in Glossy, just scripted the, the letter for them and sent to them and said, you know what, post on your Twitter. But <clears throat> they said on this letter that uh, they regret uh, what has happened, accepting the money from the big uh, Buffalo Ramapos and the Buffalo Wings, you know what I mean? So they regret doing that, and then now they are saying that they will hold back and resign from parliament, hold back from any positions in the EFF for five years, and then they would like to remain EFF members. I would like to see how that goes, because if you are going out, what are you going to be doing? Just be a member. Obviously, they were, they were, in, the, they were in parliament earning salaries. Maybe more than 30,000 up there. I don't know the exact figure. But from earning that much money to going and being unemployed, that kind of is difficult. Even more difficult if you have accepted that much money from the president. 80,000. Obviously, if you were saying that, I need that money. Now you are, you are unemployed. So I feel like if they are just going to be just normal citizens, just normal EFF supporters. There must be something up their sleeves because they have to go to ANC because you can't just say, now I don't have salary, I used to have it. I'm, I'm supposed maybe to look for a lesser job. Obviously, you, you, you just got to go to the man who gave you money, say, hey, bro, I lost the job because of you. Can you create something? Minister of Sports or Minister of uh, whatever they call it. So I think Cyril has to do something. Because if you look at Cyril's strategy, as much as uh, people can say, well, he was just helping. No, I have to disagree with that. Cyril was, was not just helping. Cyril probably needed information about the EFF. He wanted to weaken the bull. And I think he, as much as um, EFF grew in the last uh, uh political votes, uh, whatever you could, the national uh, election, sorry. The national election, <coughs> as much as EFF grew, the only problem that we are going to face, we are going to talk about is the fact that they grew. But what if they could have been bigger? And then Ramaphosa had these two uh, former members, former parliamentary members, to, to give information that uh, the Ramaphosa camp can beat uh, the EFF with you know before the election uh, Malema said uh, well Ramaphosa wanted to offer me a position we denied it good move he's already telling people that uh, that guy Ramaphosa can't be trusted so I denied that position right 
Okay, that's fine. Then these two already, they knew that as much as the guy is talking about uh, Ramaphosa offering a position, on the other side, we have money. 80k, bro. We have 80k from Ramaphosa. Are we, do, must we go and tell? No, we can't tell. Because if we tell, it's going to be a whole issue. So now uh, the bank statement, before they were leaked, EFF uh, uh, leadership were saying that, you know what? They must be released. Hey, Ramaphosa needs to go to jail. No, no, sorry, not jail. Ramaphosa needs to, to resign, something like that. And then they were released. There was a journalist who who was doing consulting. Uh, he also came forward to say, oh, I was also doing consulting for Ramaphosa. So I got paid. They said, oh, wait a minute. All along you were not talking about this and you were saying, who got this, uh, who got this, this bank statements? Do they even have uh, authority to publish them? No one must touch them. Suddenly you say, oh, I got paid. It's because... He, he, he was caught red-handed with his pants down. So now these two EFF members, uh, Tebu and Mokosi, what, what happened is that uh, as soon as on Sunday the, those were, uh, statements were released and then suddenly maybe an hour or two, we get a, a report from EFF, uh, a love letter saying that uh, Mokwili said she received money for bereavement. We are going to sit down as the EFF caucus and talk about it. I was like, God damn. Really? It couldn't have come at a, at a bad, uh, bad situation, at a bad day, bad timing. While they had uh, uh, guns and machine guns, ammunition to say, you know what? We are done. We are, we are killing this Ramapos. And then here comes Mukwili saying that, oh, wait, we can kill him, but actually he gave me money. I wonder how they reacted. They were probably like, chief, hey, this is too much, chief. But no, 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 chief, we, we, we are going to deal with uh, Mukwili. We are going to deal with him. And then they said that they said in a meeting yesterday, uh, on Monday, the 19th, and after the meeting, obviously, the decision was that they must just uh, resign. If they didn't uh, cooperate in resigning, they were going to be fired and it was going to turn ugly. So now it can be a good thing for EFF or it can be a bad thing. <clears throat> you know, my take is that people can see it as, well, they were caught, right? One of the members was uh, caught to be in that... Uh, to have had interest in that uh, CR7 campaign. So the action they took is leadership because they spoke to that person and that person went back and said, I can't do it anymore because I'm, I'm dead. I had uh, the buffalo money on me. Yeah? Remember the buffalo, the buffalo man is rich. He raised money. He didn't even need more money. He could just uh, take it from his uh, account. Remember he bought 18... He, he, he took out 18 million to buy a buffalo. So what are elections if the guy can buy a buffalo with 18 million? I wonder where the buffalo is, by the way. We need to make a bribe with it. So check this. Now, EFF uh, members, the ones who were caught, uh, Tebu and the other one, Mokosi, they just resigned. Now we have uh, ammunition for EFF because what they're going to do is that when they go to parliament, maybe the president is answering questions. It's going to be tough because <clears throat> they'll be like, okay, you went to our camp. Now the members are gone. Okay, now you are facing us because you are corrupt. I think he is though. I mean like not corrupt in a way that uh, the, presi the, the former president was was alleged to have been. But it, it, it's kind of amazing how the current president is, is has worked his way towards the leadership. And then when he, he got there, yeah, we can blame Zuma however we want. But when he got there, we haven't seen major change. Actually, I, I, I fear for the worst because Ramaphosa came after coming to, to the leadership. 
Oh, suddenly unemployment is, is, is rough. Rent is going up and down as if it's a seesaw. And then we have all these problems. But the biggest thing that I blame Ramaphosa on, he's not hands-on. It's like those smooth, uh, smooth talkers. Ramaphosa can just come and say, no, according to uh, section 123, according to this, uh, we are going to grow. Hey, dude, we are not growing. We are poor already. Yeah? Look at the petrol. It's going up in September. We are about to pay 20 rand for petrol. And you'll be saying, no, the youth, uh, we need to empower the youth. NYDA, National Youth Development Agency. Uh, some days, I think, was, his, was it his inauguration or something like that? Uh, maybe afterwards he was talking to some NYDA guy and then they were talking about, I think it was June 16 or something like that. Uh, he's saying that we need to protect the NYDA. We need to make sure we breed new leaders. Oh, come on. They should shut up. You know, it's better because... If you compare to America, someone like Donald Trump was not even in politics. He came somewhere and then became a, a politician just overnight. But now you have these guys in 1994, they had bags of money. And now they still want to be politicians. Come on, man. Really? To trust that Ramaphosa is going to take us through past uh, 2021? Oh, Lord. If he's still there and then... He doesn't make any change. He must go. And then if he's still there and then he made change, he must stick to that and make sure that the country is built up. Uh, we're tired of suffering. You know how much the, 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 the minimum wage is in South Africa? Yeah, apparently 3.5, but I have to disagree with that. People are getting uh, 2,000 for working hard. I'm sure the retailers, they, they, they're robbing people of money. You work from 9 to, to 5. You, you make sure you work hard. People went to school. They got degrees. Oh, funny thing. Those degrees ain't even working. You, they mopping the floor with degrees. Huh? They cleaning toilet with degrees. But here's our president who, who has a lot of money. Right? And then he's talking about we, we, we are going to have the, the, the youth get money. I don't buy that. And I feel like we are just riding a bicycle that's not even going anywhere. So here is it. Mr. Ramaphosa must act up. After what happened to the EFF, they need to look at themselves uh, more lighter and say, you know what? We need to have our eyes everywhere. You can't trust anyone. And then when they are done with that, this country must move on. We need to have jobs, guys. By the way, I'm hungry. Anyway, guys, that's the first video for the channel. Um, well, there might be some points that I've missed or whatever I've done. Maybe not a good start. I hope we start well from here and then we go forward. So, subscribe to the channel. And then like the video if you want to. But hey, I'm not criticizing people because they i'm just being unfair we need to move on as a country since 1994 we are still on the same thing we need change we hey we are gonna die still looking for change is the what, what do they call it industrial revolution whatever they call it we are gonna die still looking for change since 1994 96 99 we need change we need empowerment and bee -E. You, you see, Boma B-E-E -E and these things of tenders. Wow! They killed our people. Tenders! I mean, like, there is a difference between a tenderpreneur and a businessman. If you compare the two, a businessman will always supply some skills and then read books. A tenderpreneur, the only thing they know is when are we submitting? Yeah? Yeah? Where is the tender bulletin? That's what they know. And that's what killed black people. Because all we care about is, where is the tender? And then let's make money quick. Build companies. Let's support each other. Why are we even looking to support some other people while we can support each other? We have money. It's circulating around us. It's not a lot of money. But we can help each other. 
we're going to talk about that next time. Especially the fact that the Somalians, they have a good strategy, man. Look at this, so, those Somalian shops. The strategy is perfect. But we can even emulate them and do something like that. No, all we're going to do is that, when is the next tender? I can get a few people and pay them 1000 Oh, good luck with that. Thank you for tuning in, guys. This is the JTV.